It's the minor details. All right, drop me in the chat where you are tuning in from. And we're not gonna do the where you're physically at, even if you are cool and you're in your new house like Lindsay is. Congrats on the new house, Lindsay. Um, I wanna know your level of fire this morning on a scale of one to 10. Maybe not this exact moment, because it's early on the West Coast, but overall in your business. 10, 10, 10, 8, 9, 9. I love nines. Like, I'm that analytical person that's like, I am pretty on fire, but I feel like there could be more. So is 9.75 a possibility? Because there's always room for more, right? Because we're always learning and growing. We can always get better. So, all right. I, there's a lot of fire. I love it. We're going to jump into today. But before we jump in, I'd love to have everybody win. So again, get the chat warmed up. I want to hear what you are winning at in your business. But as you guys are typing that in the chat, I have a few wins that I wanted to um, share here. So first, we're going to jump to Karen Tiro's new FIBC this month. Congrats. Karen, can you unmute yourself? Are you there? I, can you hear me? I can hear you. Tell us what's up, what's going well, what tip do you have today as we start off this call and head into an amazing season ahead? Uh, well, I, what's going well is I, I finally hit up <laughs> Um But I think that, I think for me that the, the key is, you know, what you, you preach every week is just being consistent um, and listening to your mentorship team. Um, I know that for me, that's been, that's been the key. The key is just following what, you know, tuning into what my mentors say and staying connected to them and then just always doing what they tell me to do, even if it's uncomfortable for me. So, um, I've had to get over a lot of uncomfortable things for me, just, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit shyer. So, you know, putting myself out there more is a little bit more difficult. And I also think that the shift for me was um, not worrying about what your rank is and just focus on helping people and just focus on seeing the people under you grow. And if that's your focus, you're not focused on, oh my gosh, what rank I'm, you know, I need to, I need to go to the next rank or whatever. If you make it about everybody else and not about yourself, then you're going to succeed. So oh, I love it. Karen. Great tip. First of all, congratulations. And I was going to say that if you didn't say, because I know that you have been 100%. I don't even think you cared about the rank. I mean, I know you, like a pro, know where you want to go, but it's been 100% about the people, and which is why you run such high frontline volume and hit that rank. Shy people unite. It can be done. Well done. All right. Congrats, Karen. Great job. Let's, I'm going to keep this quick. We have a lot to cover today. Next person, uh, Dana. Dana, are you there? Are you racing this morning or are you here today? Can you unmute yourself? She might not be. Yeah, no, I'm here. That's next weekend. <laughs> next weekend. Okay. New yeah. executive director. You didn't waste any time. You're like, I'm going to do it like by the 20th of the month. <laughs> uh, drop a tip. What are you winning at right now? I, I think actually I have to build on, um, on Karen. For me, like we hear consistency a lot, but what does consistency mean to you? And for me, it meant trusting that what my mentor team was saying was real so that if I follow the system that it'll work and that it's okay if not every day I'm bringing on clients because it will happen so trusting them uh, for me consistency means trust and then also being authentic so uh, following the program but also okay when I'm posting making sure that I that's in line with what I think is valuable and believe because people are going to see that when I'm posting. So really remaining authentic and then also using like what Ray, how she showed us to set up our Facebook profile, just those little things staying true to who you are because people want you as their coach. Holy cow. That's probably the best tip I get her. Authenticity, staying consistent. You know, that's one of my favorite things. So I love it. Congratulations, Dana. Good luck on your race next week. Keep staying there we go are we good now all right we're good all right last tip before we head in can everyone hear me okay can i get a thumbs up karen am i good all right thanks lisa all right last tip uh ron cecil my man all right you shared something with me really awesome last week can you jump off are you um on are you off mute right now 
Let's see, I know you were driving. Yes, no. Maybe not. All right, then no, that's good. We can just jump in a little bit more. Uh, Ron, you can share the chat. So open up the chat right now as we get started today. Let me share my screen. What was your biggest win over this last one? Because I know you guys got a ton of them because you have to do it. I love seeing the chat light up. We are killing it across the board numbers wise, and it's a lot of lives being changed. So let's jump into today. Um, everyone see my screen okay? Lisa, how am I doing? Screen's good? Yep, got the thumbs up already. Last week I was sharing my screen. I shared the entire raw screen because I have two monitors, and they were like, "I don't see what you're talking about, Brad." So, all right, let me introduce my co-host, Don. Are you there today? I'm here, Brad. All hey. right. So, Don, we have a great topic today. You know what's going on. Are we a little bit excited about what we're going to cover today? Yeah, we're just a little bit excited, you guys. So, trying to contain ourselves. All right, grab grab your notepad, grab your mat, grab your stuff, because today we dive into the action steps. This call, this is week two of Coffee and Consistency, and hopefully you guys are checking off the marks. Uh, this is about systems and action. So I'm just gonna dive right into it, because if you're here, your goal is to grow, and you want more, and you want breakthrough for yourself and other people, just like Karen was talking about. I love that, Karen. All right, two big announcements today. Here's one of them, if my screen will move. There we go. Two big announcements today. Number one is next week, we have sponsoring boot camp starting up again. Dan Valentine's gonna do like the encore of the six weeks. Drop me a one in the chat if you were consistent during those six weeks and you saw the breakthrough in your business. Action plus skill set plus mindset equals success. Yes, I love it. So if you are new and you haven't been on these trains, make sure you get added to the support page. Make sure you put the next three Saturdays in your schedule because really what this is going to be about, it's not going to be about getting coaches because you don't get coaches. You just get more abundant in your mindset of the gift of optimal health level. Like you're going to level million of what you offer people in breakthrough. Like Sarah Griggs, who, congratulations, retired at 30. Sarah, I know you're not supposed to ask people's age, but retired yesterday at 30 to be a stay-at-home mom boss with her kiddos. Congrats. So that's why we've been going over the systems the last, the last week and this week because sponsoring really is as good as your systems are. Just like your business, the reason why we have everyone in the train that's over um, – 10,000 and above and sponsors at a good rate trains because you can't change the system. The system work and how dialed in your system is how well they will duplicate. Let me know, drop me, I think we're up to what, two in the chat. If you have dialed in your system and you saw the breakthrough, it wasn't anything massive you did, you just did the tune up. Lisa, Judy, I love this. That is to me too, to, to follow. Amazing job. That's why we've been doing it. And for all of you coaches that have been coaching for a while, like Don, like we get really excited about the basics because it's never anything more than the basics. That's what I love about what we do. We just get better at it and we can start to do it in our sleep. Then you're really helping people because you can do it while you're sleeping. And sleep is a habit of health. So we want to do both of those things. All right. So let's dive in. I'm trying to move quickly because I want to get to the gold of today. We have another announcement, but you have to pay to play. So we're going to cover it later. And if you've been doing these steps, I think you're going to be really excited about it. So we're going to go back into playing the checkbox game. Drop me a three in the chat if you are winning at the checkbox game between last week and this week. You guys doing good on it? Because like, I'm collecting checkboxes left and right. Sarah, yeah, you are. Brittany, yes. Jen, I love it. All right, y'all, this is where I'm going to bring you on to help me go through this because we're going to recap last week's. This may be a lot of things we checked off, but the, key, the reason why we're training it is because they're actually not a lot of things. It's because if you get these in your system, they actually become not a lot of things because you'll start to do them automatically. Just like it probably wasn't a habit like for me to wake up and choose a healthy choice and drink water, now it is a habit. I just do it without even thinking. Shake, water, ready to rock in the morning. I don't even think about it anymore. So if you just double check these boxes that you have, you set on fire health journey, setting up your map and start of the month, mid month pulse check, 10, three and three on connection. This is huge. Like the 10 messages, starting conversations, three posts, three connection. 
Not connections of like adding people you don't know, like adding people like my neighbor, who I noticed was new in our in our um, in our neighborhood community page. So I was like, I should know them. They've got kids my age. Added them as friends. These are people I should be friends. They should be in my orbit. And then things like this happen. You have a strong list of people you're making connections with. And if you're really on this call right now and you desire to grow, if you're having the breakthrough like everything else, you should be above. Where's my map? It's like, I'm not going to pull out because I want to keep this short. You have that top 10 spot on your map. And there's a whole reason mentally on that because we want to focus in massive connections so that those connections rise up to people thinking about taking on their health. So those people thinking about taking on their health spill onto the map. At this level, you should have your own notepad, piece of paper, something, a list of top intentional people that you are pursuing. Your, your list should be so big that it should not be able to be contained by the map. Don, you want to say in this? Because I know this has been the breakthrough point for a lot of people in their business. Absolutely. And the fact that, you know, what we've been coaching for nine plus almost 10 years and you never run out of having people overflowing to that list. So having a separate list. And then I think I shared last week, just getting a blank piece of paper out and redoing that list, writing it down, um, having those people in front of you is really important. And I just want to say, if you're new and you're on this call and you're like, what are they talking about? Don't worry about it. This is your, everybody starts like it's one step at a time. And we've just been doing this like Brad, we've just been doing this for longer, practicing for longer, talking to more people, right? That's, yeah. that's what consistency over time that makes the big difference. So, um, yeah, no, keep going, Brad. I love it. You're just a little bit on fire this morning. All right. And the reason you do this is so you can do mindful connections. Like things like this that really happened. I finally took over a welcoming present to our neighbors and the other neighbors that moved down a little bit behind it's summertime over here in Northwest. And I met them and guess what she said to me 10 minutes into our 30 minutes of just talking and meeting each other. Hey, what's Octavia? I really need to talk to you guys. That's why you make connections. And also, which we'll get into a little more later because a lot of you guys wanted to learn really how do I support my clients well. I will hands down tell you your 10, 3, and 3, and how you live out loud might be the most important component of your support to your clients. Drop me a, are we up to four? Drop me a four in the chat if you agree. You can call your client, you can do all the things. I'm not saying don't do them, but I will hands down tell you that your, the way you live out loud in your health might be the biggest thing that will make the difference in your client's success. And you'll grow your business, so it's a win-win. All right, jump before. Time for connections and rocks and schedule. If you're building to ED, this should really honestly be about eight to 10 hours a week. And I'm gonna show you an example in a second that's gonna show you how it works those eight to 10 hours a week are in your schedule. Knowing to bring it to the phone, if you don't know how to do this, like in your sleep, there's a document in the support page. It literally is perfect. I'm like, how do they create a document that can handle all kinds of conversation? It literally is perfect. Uh, how to do a quality health assessment. We talked about that, so good. Client integration, daily texts, Facebook messages, client integration call on week one. That's what we're gonna pick up today. And then we really spent time covering the next step in your business flow, how to build and compensation. I hope you paid attention to that because I have a really cool example for you today. Drop me a five in the chat if you guys would like to basically grow your income by 50% just because you help more people. Would you guys like to do that? You guys down to that? Just checking. You guys okay getting paid? Okay, I like it. It's good. You can do good things with it. It's awesome. Uh, all right, for all you new coaches, Here's your checklist for the people. I think someone said that like too many people have been like using the chat. So I can't remember who the person said that I'm new. Is you, for all you new coaches right now, if you're not a senior coach yet, here is your steps to pick up with where we're talking about. Anything you hear today, just repetition creates like perfection. So keep hearing it, but this is where you need to hone in right now. Stay on fire in your health journey. It's necessary for the whole process. If you haven't done a meet and greet with your support team and set, have a support message set up, make sure you have that. That's where you're going to launch your business. Have a list of people that want to start that you want to be intentional. It's going to be the people that have been asking you or that you've done things with in the past or the people you just want to help. But the key is, this is probably my one that I'm most passionate about. So many new coaches say, yeah, I'll huh, do a list, but they don't. And then they wonder why things don't happen. I can't explain it. Most of the things I like to explain, like I have data and science to prove it. I don't really know why if you make a list, it's what causes breakthrough, but that's honestly what happens is usually we hit like that, like, oh, no one's going to start. Have you put it down on a list? No, I've just been keeping it in my head. Then all of a sudden they make a list and then all of a sudden people help me. Don, you see the same thing. Do you have any reason why that is? Because I don't know why it is. It just is what happens. 
I think it's that uh, reticular activating system that Dan and Dr. A keep talking about. When you put it down and you think about it, it just is what happens. Got it. I think so too. So let's jump in here. So a list of people you want to be intentional with. And your main focus, your main goal right now is hitting and seeing your coach and setting up your first four to five health assessments with your support team. Please, please, please promise me, new coaches, don't go do this by yourself. I want you to win. I care too much about you to say this. I watch new coaches do this. And I'm like, no, please don't make it harm yourself. And they come back and say, oh, the person said no. And I'm like, how do you get a no um, when, when someone reached out to you to find out? You can get a, oh, I'm thinking about it. Or you can think of, oh, I got to check back on some stuff. You can't get a no. So make sure you do this with your support team so you can learn all the simple steps that really set up people that are potentially looking to change their health for success. Because if you're talking, I'll give you a hint. If you're talking to them, this program's for them. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Boom, full, like, mic drop. Like, everyone getting, like, intense nods from Karen and Don right now, so I love it. Um, the next one is on that meet and greet, you're going to plan your social media launch, and you're going to do it with your support team so you can see the artwork of making connections because this business is all about connections. And you're going to know that it's not just it's not just one post. It's how you flow your post and start getting comfortable with sharing your story and telling your journey. Anyways, one step at a time. Do this with your support team. Plug into the trainings, and your first goal is hitting senior coach. Maybe probably the manager making your first five hundred eight hundred dollars a month. You guys all good with that? All new coaches said yes. Actually, if you're a new coach in the last six months, some of you probably already executive director. Drop me a five in the chat. I'd love to know who's new to our community in here. Welcome, all you guys. Congratulations. Do these steps or do the next steps if you're already past these. All right, let's dive in today. Everybody ready? Like, everyone ready to do the checkbox game? Everyone got their notepad? Because I told you we're moving quick. Like, Chris Frank, you were a brand new coach. You used to be you last month, and you're like almost big thinkers. Congratulations. Um, all right, checkbox game time, my friends. Cornerstones to have a growing business. We're going to pick up where we left off last week, but I'm going to show you who wants to know the biggest thing that will change your business and how many people you will change during life. Why don't you like one thing or one of the top things that will make the difference? Top five things for sure. Who wants to know it? Kim wants to know it. Kathy wants to know it. All right. If you're on fire doing steps, this is the step right now. You want to take notes on this. I want you guys to like really take this in. It's how to do your second pulse check. I mean, you're, you're able to pulse check at any time, but there's two major rocks. It's around the 15th, and it's around the 22nd, somewhere between the 22nd and the 24th. A true artist, a true big thinker, inspects what they expect. And I'm talking to all you guys. That's why you guys are here. Karen, don't break your neck, Karen. You're nodding like too intently on all this stuff. <laughs> you're just like, you know, you know what this does for a business. So the steps today or over the next few days is, Check your current frontline volume, group volume. Check what you're projecting for. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute because a lot of you guys are new to doing this. Check your teams. We don't just focus on ourselves. This is like Karen talking about. This isn't about focusing on us. This is about focusing on other people winning. Our focus is 100% on everybody else winning. That's how you get what you want. Figure out your goal for the end of the month. Remember how I talked about what the next steps are in somebody's business? Anyways, that's important to know because what you can comprehend, you will grow to. Uh, send over all of this stuff in your support message. That's the magic sauce as it sprinkles on top. And then make sure you know for these next few months, how are you making the cruise? I've had a few people be like, I think it's this. Never think it's something. Go find the answer so you know it's something so you can get there. Sorry to be like, you got it, but I told you guys I bring what needs to happen for an on fire business. You guys okay? Can I check on the chat? Like up to six? You guys, six? You guys okay if I keep still like bringing this information? Yes, yes, six, six. Okay, cool. Just so make sure. All right, some of you are probably asking, Brad, how do I do this and how long should this take? Just take that 10 minutes. 10 minutes that will save you hours of time and grow your business and help tons more people get healthy by lasering in on the target. So if you are a newer coach, or if, actually if you're anybody, the pros know how to do this. You're going to come to your support page and you're going to click on client support. That's going to bring you to this page and then you're going to click on client orders right here and then projected premiere. You guys all tracking me right now? Seeing the nods? This is gonna bring up all of the people that have left the process in your business. If you have coaches on your team, you're gonna to need to change it to your business ID number, and this is gonna tell you how many premieres you have left the process. 
in your business. And you can go look at those like, oh man, Bonnie's doing great. She's totally on track. She's breaking through her health. I did an integration call with her last week. She's still on fire. She might become a coach this next week because she said X, Y, and Z, whatever the case may be. You're inspecting what you inspect and you're inspecting the quality of your client's journeys. So then you're gonna know how much you have left the process. You're gonna make sure you make note over here because we talked about checking your front line and group volume. So this person, this example, is at 4,500 today, or well, closer to 4,550. They're at close to 4,900 in group volume. How do you, did you just get your own? Great question, Sherry. Go to business coach ID and under the filter um, tab, type in your ID number. If you don't know how to do this, make sure you type your support team. They'll show you how to do it. Or you can watch my how to do your map video in simple systems. It shows you exactly how to do this. Perfect, got it, Sherry. That's, you're a quick learner. So here's some of the things I wanted to show you on this. Let me back up the slide real quick. This is a beautiful map, what I want to tell you real quick. This is gorgeous. It, could, it, it needs to be messier for my taste, but I like it. Highlighted amounts here. They're filling in their total. I can tell these clients are integrated by looking at them. Uh, here's some cool things that you'll learn to inspect on it real quick. One, I can see this person has started five clients this month. Congratulations, mystery person. You are a rock star coach. But here's where it starts to get really cool. Notice how it said that they only have five premieres with the process? Well, they have six people on their list that have an orders process. What happened to that person? Like, can we help them? Did they not know how to, did they move their order when they didn't need to? Do they need additional assistance? It's helping you inspect the quality of your client's journey and inspect the quality of your business. Do you love how like they come together and are married together? This person has clear goals for this month. This person has a top list that's full. The only thing I would make a suggestion to this person is always inspect fully what you expect, even if you don't know how to do it yourself, you like this person's only been coaching three months. Make sure you fully inspect what you expect, and I would really personally love to see this potential coach mark build out a little bit more. I would love that this person to be a little bit more focused on the optimal health possibilities for the people around them. Besides that, I think this is perfection. Uh, it's a great looking map. Does that make sense? How do you do a quick pulse check? Is everyone tracking me? Like, we're up to seven. Don says yes. Do not seven. If you guys say that this is all good to go, you guys are tracking me. Yes. All righty. So let me show you where the magic happens on this. This person's goal is to already start five more clients. It's already their goal. We have nine days left in the month. Would you rather have nine days to work effectively and back to what Dana said, authentically and pursuing people in flow and action and consistency? Or would you like to wait till the Optimia Connect tells you where you're at around the 28th, 29th, and then scramble frantically to see if you can get someone to sign up and it doesn't feel as good for you because you know you're pushing last minute. No one likes to work last minute. This is, this, like, this is why this is a step of success. Don, real quick, just gonna bounce over you. Anything that you notice that's really key on this? Because I know you have a whole team of people. Well, everyone that's here is good at doing this. But anything you would say that I might be missing? No, I just want to reiterate that wherever you're at, it's all perspective on how you look at it. So Brad, I know you were going to say, you know, there's six orders here that haven't processed yet. And you're going to kind of chit chat about that for a second, but it's all how you look at it and looking that you've got nine days left in the month. So where can you dive in? Who can you help? Where can you show up and serve? And, and where you end up is basically based on what you choose and commit to and decide to do right now. Yep. So last thing on this pulse check here as you're learning your skill sets, this person is a new executive director. They also need to learn how much they make because honestly, they actually made like $2,100 last month. Just more cool bonuses. That's why I'm passionate about talking about income because like that was one of my biggest takeaways. I was loving helping people. I didn't even know how much I got paid. Then my mom, who's my health coach, was like, did you realize you made $3,000 a month? I was like, what the heck? We made $3,000? Then my level of like excitement to share this at the next level was like level 1 million. So that's why those marks are in there. And I'm gonna wrap this up by showing you something pretty cool. So this person was executive director last month. So we went over the slides of how to build next steps in business. Drop me, are we up to eight? Drop me an eight in the chat if you guys agree if this is that person's next step in their business. Don says eight. Yes, eight, eight. Told you we'd be using the chat today, guys. This is for people that are on fire. You are correct. This is the next step of their business. And if you keep just doing the steps and systems, this shouldn't feel like more work. It should start in the flow if you've got your systems in order. So getting your volume up to 8,000, thinking abundantly, just getting that flow, getting your referral setups here. 
bringing on your first few coaches, you know, one to two hitting senior coach, maybe a third, and your income's gonna go up dramatically at this point. You're gonna go from like the $2,000 range to like 3,500 to 5,000. This is not an official inco uh, income disclosure, it's just the averages I see at this level if you calculate it out. So um, let's do a math example, and then we're gonna move into more clients and more stuff here. But I guarantee you guys are gonna wanna know this after I go this example. So this is why you do a pulse check. Let's go over right here. Over here up top is what you would do on this day for this person. Oh, cool, I'm at 45, 50 group volume. I mean, frontline volume, that's my client orders. I'm at 4,900 group volume because my first coach has, a, has an order entity. I have five premieres to process. When you're doing a pulse check, it's not to spend hours calculating, it's to do it quick and out and into action changing lives, getting more nods. I love the nods because you guys are on fire. We do it as a gold standard by 300 because if someone drops off or randomly drops their order, we're not attached to it. We can plan for success, but more likely their order is going to be around 350 to like 400, somewhere in that range. But if it's a little bit lower, it's all good too. So we times it by 300. Nominally speaking, even if someone moves, this person's tracking for 6,000. But I think all, but you would know it by how you're supporting them on their health journey. I think this person would confidently say all five orders are in process. They're probably going to be above 6,000. They're going to get 6,400 in group volume. Their income this month, because it's their rolling bonus month, and their average averages them at a $500 bonus, they're going to make $2,400 this month. Everyone give them a person a round of applause. It's awesome. Um, but let me show you the point of doing a pulse check. If this person adds five clients, which is their goal, by the way, because I can tell them their map is their goal. If they add one new coach, which is their goal, by the way, and they have enough people. By the way, if I haven't said in a while, for every five clients you have, if you're truly inspecting and bringing the value of full optimal health, you have probably at least one, I'd argue maybe two or three coaches at every five clients you have if you're coaching them on the full journey, really inspecting and coming alongside them. But anyways, I digress. Helping one new coach come on and helping their current coach go senior coach. The end of the month, their volume would be somewhere around 8,300 and around 10,000 group volume, which was the next step that I just talked about right here. You guys tracking me? This is their next step. Who likes making extra money again? Everyone? Like, I think everyone said yes. Their income this month would jump from 2,400 to around 3,900. You guys all like $1,500 raises? I do. I like it. It's cool. Like, it's awesome. I get to give more scholarships away and get more people to get healthy. It's like this whole cycle of things, which I might be talking about later. Because it would up their bonus to 1,000 instead of 500. It would up their, their uh, income on their frontline volume and they would get their bonus on their team for helping their team member win and earn their first $500 and hit their cap bonus. It's really cool, right? Like this, knowing your next step is so vital because people have to get healthy in the process and if your systems are dialed in, you just keep building on this. All right, big road to nine. Was this helpful for people? Number, give me a nine in the chat. All right. If you need to learn more about this, then congratulations. This is just your next skill set. Stay really close with your support team and let's, because all of this is intertwined with helping people win. All right, guys, that's what to do today. One of the action steps or in the next few days, and I'm just gonna throw it out real quick. It's gonna be awkward if you don't do it because like it's all here on the training. So like do it, send it over to your support team. It is a habit of success. So if you don't do it, people are just gonna be like, ah, oh, it's kind of weird, you know, they didn't do it. So just throwing that out there. All right. Back to the client integration. I love all the questions last week, so we're gonna pick off where we left off last week. Don, anything as we wrap that up real quick and we move, shift gears, the topics to supporting client integration that sets us up for Dan's Bootcamp next week. Anything you guys wanna add in here? The chat's on fire, so many takeaways. I'm loving it. anything you wanna say before we switch gears. No, I just love that you said it would be a little awkward if people didn't do it. So don't be weird, y'all, just do it. And if you're not sure, reach out and ask. I love it. All right. So let's dive into the integration. I loved all the questions in the page about like, okay, what do I do with different plans? How do I really support my clients really well? What makes the difference? And I love that Lindsay said a few weeks ago on uh, our Thursdays that basically said, okay, you know, I noticed some coaches aren't keeping really good client retention, which is weird for me because I have great client retention. If you follow these steps, you will up the quality of the journey and you will help have a solid business retention and your business will grow solid. It's a win, win, win. So we left off last week by what do you do after you start your client? You know, send them the text campaign while they're waiting for their meals. Make sure you have that text document, save your home screen, simple systems for ourselves. 
Add them to the Facebook right away. I've noticed some people do it like later, and we want them to feel that community feel as soon as they say yes, because they're still a little bit nervous. We all remember where we were before we started our journey. Some of us were ready, we knew we were gonna make it. A lot of us were like, I hope this works for me because I'm just honestly losing hope in my whole life, honestly. Like, I, you know, I know a lot of us could probably say that with the case. Call them the night before in their first four days or oh, ask open-ended questions where coaching them into a strong fat burn. I want to layer a lot of coaching early. I think it was Tiffany Howard's tip during the Saturdays was like, my goal is by their first week, I've layered coaching like eight or nine times, like little drips here and there to let them know it's possible because they're still this. We want to layer the next steps or else they won't even know they're so focused on it they can get into fat burn. We want to layer those steps for them. Um, unless you don't want them as a coach, then don't layer coaching. i um, just throwing that out there as well. Um, but then really summing it up at the one week integration call. Um, Don, this is what I was going to bring you on for a second. Did you want to talk about that? Because this, I, I don't want to move forward past the integration call because it's so key in knowing how to do it. And the quick thing, here's the note to write down. I hope you guys all write this down today. At day six, when you fire off that day six text, your prompt in your head, I'm going to say it like a bunch of times because I want you guys to remember it. Day six text, I'm about to say, oh, wait, I'm not going to send it yet. Hey, my support team. Let's say, Don, you're my support team. Don, I'm about to send the day six text to client XYZ. They're crushing it. This is where they're at. What times are you available for us to do it? And then you line it up, you do it, and it's good to go. It's so simple, so easy. So day six text, wait, don't send it. Check with your support team when they're available. All right, anything else you want to add to this, Don, like the importance of it or the reason of this? Yeah, I just, I love that, Brad, that you said pause on the day six text, reach out, double check what times your support team's available, and then you can offer those times. That integration call, you guys, with your client on day seven, um, you know, sometimes it happens on day eight, you know, right? It's not about perfection, but it's progress, but perfect practice makes perfect. And if you can chat with someone on their day seven, and set it up with the daily text for day six and show them that support and show them what it's going to look like from that on. You build trust and you're really, you're laying the foundation for them to have the best success possible. So that is a step to not skip. Yeah. Drop, we're, back, we're going back around to one. Drop me a one in the chat. If you really started honing this skill set and you dramatically seen it affect the tempo of your business and your sponsoring. Love it. Yes, Antonia, you totally have taken it to this pro level this last little bit. I actually love your call that you did with her yesterday. So last tip on this, I don't want to miss it. Here's like a little nuance. Would you guys agree most people start their, their journey on Monday, majority of the time? Most of you guys are doing your client support on Monday, Tuesday. We have found that very effective. Plus, everyone else's schedules line up a little bit more. So more than likely, it's very simple. Day six is going to be Saturday before you send that text. We're all here on Saturday morning. Hopefully you were sending the text before we got on the training. Hey, day six. Hey, Dawn, are you available on Monday? Why, well, yes, Brad, I am because Monday's my check-in day too. Can we do that time? Yes, we can. Fire off that text, bad boy. Can't wait to talk to the client. Go put your schedule you're good to go, right? Ah, oh, so. You guys like it? Like, do you guys like how simple this is? I love it. Just so easy. All right. That's why you guys are here and you guys want to grow. All right. So key. And I just want to go over a quick layout. If you really like this stuff and if you've been doing them, you can, Allison, oh, I love it. Um, go back to Lindsay and Ashley's call week, four, week three or four of, of uh, the Thursday night training. They really break down the artwork of an integration call. I'm not going to go over it right now, but basically the gist of it is we'll probably go like this. We we'll spend a little bit of time celebrating what went going well. Most people are going to dive into healthy body first because that's all they see. This is where we reinforce the four components and we're going to walk through doors to the next level of their journey because the key to the integration call is they're either going to hear about the four components again and, die, and hear and feel the community feel or it's going to start dwindling away, one of the two. That's why it's so key. Quick disclaimer before I explain more about like the flow of it. If you are a qualified, solid executive director, you can probably start deciphering between like who you can integrate and who you are not going to miss the opportunity to accelerate the flow of who you want to get on a call so they can feel that community and move forward. If you see the match for coaching early for their optimal health, do not miss the integration call. 
at the ED level. If you are below executive director, do every single one. I dare you. Don't start deciphering. Uh, Jake Savage is probably on the call. He was like, oh, yeah, I don't know if this person, this guy just got promoted to like own the company. He probably will be. I was like, do it anyways. And guess who got a text like 10 minutes later anyways before the call? I was like, hey, Jake, I'm thinking about being a coach on this program. It's going really well for me. He's like, oh, that taught me never to figure out like for me to decide for somebody. So just wanted to drop that there. But back to the flow. Healthy body, what's going well, we're going to reinforce the process of progress over perfection. Step number two, what are you feeding your healthy mind? Like this is really key. We're going to jump into that component of our program, like the habits of health, the ebook, Dr. Ray's habits of health, the Facebook page, which is kind of a combo. Like they have like all of those things. What are they enjoying? What are they diving into? What are we reinforcing? What are they winning at? Um, what are they basically, what are they feeding their healthy mind? We're reinforcing that part of the journey. Community. Ashley's number one question she asked on that call, she can go back and watch it, was how is your community responding to you being on a structured um, eating plan or whatever the deal may be? Like find out what their community looks like. Do they have community and do we need to say rock on? Keep doing that, let them know what your goals are or do they need community and we're gonna reinforce how to get community and how to be part of a community, how to bring people to a community. And then the last one is how is the support going? Teaching them about how support goes and honestly, this is where the conversation is an outline because most of the time it's going to move to an explore call if you're truly being focused on the person there. You might be on this integration call because coaching was what you need to talk about anyways. And sometimes you leave it just as teaching them to refer and always, no matter what, you leave them telling them what's next. I know Allison gets so excited when I talk about giving people clarity on what happens next. Allison's your favorite topic besides being weird. Uh, you always, so like, whenever we sum up a call, it's always going to look like this. All right, you're doing great. This is your next goal. Just want to explain what support looks like going forward. Your coach is going to call you. Hey, what coach every week? What's your, what's your check-in day? Monday, the coach is going to call you on Mondays. Probably going to check in like a couple times during the first few, the first month because it's so key. The daily texts are over, but jump into the support page, dive into your journey. And if you ever need anything, remember that this is the process. Keep paying it for it, and then whatever you talk about, whether you're, you set up your Explorer call, or they buy in their coach kit, or you're just teaching them how to refer, or whatever the case may be. It's like, you're just, I love that as an example of walking through doors. It was so good, so helpful. Does this help anyone? Number two in the chat, if this is good clarity for you, and you all promise to do integration calls. Two, two. All right, there we go. I knew there was two time. All right. Don, anything else before we switch topics? I think we've hammered home how to do this how it'll be game changing for your business and we're right on track here, so we're doing good here. Anything else you wanna add? No, nope, doing good, Brad. All right, okay. This is where I'm gonna bring Don in, actually. Weekly check-in calls. You guys know on the back of your map it says connect people two times. So again, if your systems are good, hopefully you're sending a second check-in to your clients that are in their first month while you're doing your Friday follow-up. It's like, hey, how's everything going before you go to the weekend? Because they're still getting flowed in. Again, not a separate thing to your business. But during that weekly check-in day, Don, could you give us kind of an outline? We have so many new coaches here that are like, well, what do I actually talk to my clients about? And again, this isn't a script, it's an outline. So Don, will you lay out the outline success for what we do checking in with our clients each week? Yep, I sure will. And this is something I'm super passionate about because we don't, we're not five in one coaches. Could you imagine if like three months into someone's journey, you were still asking them what time they ate in the morning and are they feeling like they're in fat burn and things like that. We coach structurally and progressively. So that's why these four questions are so helpful to jump right into. Um, and it's a layout for the call. It's definitely not a script. So as you're talking with them, remember, we want to keep these calls short, five, 10 minutes max. We want to let them know up front, Brad, love, love, love that on that day seven, integration call, preparing them to know what to expect because people love to, to know what to expect. They feel comfortable. That builds trust. Oh, I always pick up the phone. Hey, Jane, how did last week go on program? How's your health journey? We're not asking how they are or how they're feeling because then they can start talking about you know how their cat's doing, whatever, insert crazy cat story or whatever. We want to know how did their last week go on program? How's their health journey? What are they proud of? What are, what are their wins? What are their, this is your opportunity to, in the first couple weeks, teach them what a scale victory is and what a non-scale victory is. This is your opportunity to show them all the different metrics to be 
paying attention to, to be um, sharing with you and celebrating like their inches and their clothes fitting and their sleeping bed or those things. How did the last week go on program? And then you're listening. And then what are you learning? What are you enjoying celebrating? Like Brad talked about, what are you feeding your mind to create it to be healthy? Because that's one of our core components. So are they jumping into the habits of health book? Week two, sometimes people haven't even pulled that book out. That's okay. That's your opportunity to say, get that puppy out, put it on your coffee table. Um, encourage them to jump in and, and read a chapter or start at the beginning and work through the workbook. Are they jumping into the client community page? Are they cheering others on? What are the other components that are jumping out to them? You get to, we are their guide, you guys. We aren't here to feed them information. We're here to guide them to the resources that they have in their hands and to guide them to the habits of health, to guide them to the habits of health calls, to guide them to the support community. And so I use chatting with them each week to remind them of those things. And then the third question is, hey, did you come across any questions this last week as you were navigating the potluck at work or um, people are asking you questions, whatever, like what kind of questions are you coming up with? Answer their questions. Uh, maybe guide them to a resource to assist them to learn and assist them to learn something so that you can talk next week. And then are they ready for the next week? What would they like to work on? What would they like to focus on? Um, oh my gosh, you've got your timing down. Let's work on water. Uh, read this little piece in the book or listen to this habits of health call. There's some great information out there on water. And then that's something that you can write notes down and then come back to your next Monday or Tuesday check-in and talk to them. And I love Brad that you said on Friday during your regularly scheduled follow-up time is when in their first month, you're going to be sending that second touch point, that second, Hey, how's it going this week? I know you're focusing on water. You killing it over there, sending them into the weekend with a good game plan. That is pro coaching. You guys, this is how we create integrated clients who stick around forever because they fall in love with the community, the support. And honestly, most of the time you are either going right into sharing with them how to, how to refer, how to quality, you know, connect people to you, or probably you're talking to them. You're walking through those doors as they open them, you're walking through and sharing, okay, well maybe we could help your mom together since she's clearly asking you questions and she's cheering you on things like that. So Brad, anything you want to add to this, but this this is so key and something that I didn't get in the beginning, but once I got it, it was like a flip switch. And all of a sudden people started to be a whole lot more successful. And this was so fun. I think you nailed it. I think it's time to ask the chat. Like we've been doing the check boxes, like drop me a back to, let's go back to one. Let's drop me a one in the chat. If you feel like check, you're getting really good at doing this and you got this check box in your routine. Allison, it's like the first comment. Of course she does. Um, Don is perfect. So I guess what I would reiterate on this because, you know, it takes like repetition is, is helpful Four question layout. It doesn't mean you're going to read these questions. It means it's your check boxes in your mind as you're going through having a conversation. It'll look like a full on conversation, but if you format like this, you will train your clients to be in a progressive moving forward state. If you have drama clients, I'm going to say you're probably not following this format. If your calls are taking too long. You are probably not following this format. If people aren't wanting to come on a coach because it's taking so much time, you're probably not following this format. If you're not getting referrals, you're probably not following this format. If you're not getting breakthrough in your clients, like I love, like the chat's blown up too much. I can't catch my kids. Uh, Kelly was talking about like, this is where the relationship grows. This is the magic. This is your time for it to incubate and grow. So basically, you'll know how to bring habits because you'll make notes like, hey, how'd that 10K go last week? Like when I talk to Dana next week, I'm like, hey, Dana, how would that, how'd that 10K or whatever race you, I can't remember what kind of race you do. Like how'd that race go, Dana? Like make little notes, be interested in your clients and keep good notes on them so that you can just follow systems and be so relational with them as you move forward. I think the last thing I would say is, if, back to what we were talking about before, I think last week it was, it, it was if you're not getting referrals from your clients, that's weird. They're out changing their life. They don't live in a cave. So kind of like the backup in my mind, like this, like bleeding across all of this is like, wh who is the first person that I'm helping them get to? This will also be very much talked about in the integration call. But here, let me, let me tell you the two reasons why. Because it's really just two reasons. I'm just going to be like one time. 
Two reasons why. First off, foremost, for them. If we aren't going to fight to get people around them, surrounding them in their community, they're going to go backwards. I'm just going to let you guys know this. If they, they will get pulled down. Has anyone ever heard the story about you stand up on a stool, you try to pull people up? You don't pull anyone up, you get pulled down. So if we don't pull people up on the stool with them, they're going to fail eventually. Or they're going to, it's going to be harder than it needs to be. Step number two is, Smart business, duh. Like, of course, all of it works together. Get referrals, get more new clients, create those connections, and also just make it easy for them to coach their first client. Like, drop me back to two. Drop me a two in the chat if the reason why you started coaching was because you had your first client. Don, I know yours was because your dad stole your food. And then he was down on his way, and you're like, I got to coach him. Um, anyways, yeah. See, this is why. You guys see the magic? It's the magic. All right. Wrapping up here today, we're actually making great time. Uh, Don, just a quick review of our plan so people know what they are real quick. Breaking down like this layout so people know like, oh, when they talk about different plans, what, what is it that we have? So like, will you go over these real quick? Yeah, love it, Brad, love it. Okay, so y'all know we have several different plans. Most of the time people begin because they have weight issues. So obviously, no brainer, the five in one weight loss plan is probably what they're going to be starting on. Um, but you guys, we also have other plans too. We have a four and two plan. We have the optimal weight four, two and one plan. We have a nursing mama's plan. Um, we have a senior's plan, a teen's plan. We have um, special plans for if you have diabetes. Uh, and then we have all of our optimization plans, which is also the four and two and the optimal health three and three. So um, we have a lot of different things to offer people. Don't feel like you need to be an expert on every single one, especially if you are a brand new coach. The one to know is the five in one and then just know we can adjust from there or if they have a special consideration uh, like diabetes or they don't have any weight to lose or they're a nursing mama, then you're going to reach out to your support team. So if, if you're not familiar with a plan and you have someone who maybe has, maybe they're a nursing mama or they're pregnant or they have diabetes, reach out to your support team. Um, you absolutely do not be, need to be an expert on any of these plans to oh. confidently help someone, right? Brad? Honestly, every, every time someone asks me about nursing mothers, I'm like, um, uh, <laughs> um, oh, Allison was dropping, but I think she didn't mean to send to me prior. Like, if you're, anyways, I'll get back to that later. Sorry, I got distracted by your awesome comment, uh, Allison. I'll, I'll get back to that later. Um, I every time I'm doing a plan based on the Bible, I actually have to go back to the guy. So, like. Always, you just go back to the guide or ask your support team. But here's here's the deal. I want everyone to pay attention to me right now. Everyone, pay attention to me. I'm the guy with red hair. Talk to, like let me let me talk to you on this. More often than not, you're going to start them on the five and one plan, but you want to let them know that there are other plans, so that when you when they hit their first road bump or they hit their first very low blood sugar moment and insanity comes in, they don't say I quit. I can't do this. They say. I think I need a refresh. What, what's that other plan you're talking about? It's so you start talking with them about this. You guys know what I'm talking about? That's so key. And all of these are based on here. So to make it really easy, so you guys are like, oh my gosh, I don't know anything about these. Basically, all the same plans are like all basically five and one. Like diabetes plans, basically five and one. Uh, four, two, and one is like basically the same layouts as five and one, except it's four, two, and one. Like it's very easy. We're teaching people to have structured eating six times a day. That's what we're teaching on. So it gets, becomes really simple on all of this. And knowing that we're optimizing and moving into, like later on, we have four and two, we have three and three. That's where we're going to move long term. And here's the key on all this. I'm going to drop one last story, and then we're going to finish up here today with some examples. It's all based on giving our body 100% of the daily nutrition that it needs to be supported. That's a value, guys. That's why we're on a diet company. We're a nutrition and optimal health company. So I'm going to give you guys one last mindset. I'm not recommending you go do this. I'm just saying follow the mindset on this. So when Ashley was pregnant with our first son, Whitney, she was like, of course she knows how to be healthy. We've been healthy for a long time. But I've never been pregnant before, but props to you women who are. I don't know how you guys do it. She wasn't exactly on point because all the different cravings were coming in. And she was like, she was thinking like this mechanically, there, you, there is not a plan for, for being pregnant. Well, does she can use her mind and be like, well, I'm eating like garbage now. I'm not eating regularly. I'm not eating good. My blood sugars aren't stable. So what did she do? She started following the nursing mother's program and make sure her calorie intake was high enough. 
She was getting more nutrition following that plan. She was eating more regularly. Her blood sugars were controlled. It was a million times healthier than what she was doing the week before when she started doing it. You guys see what I'm talking about here? Do you guys see like the overall picture of what is going on here? Like it's nutrition. I'm not recommending you go tell people that are pregnant that they can do plan. I'm saying explore the options of what they desire in their health and help them make the fits of eating six times a day. Mm -hmm. More often than not, it's going to be fine. Do you have anything you want to say to that? Yeah. Well, and Brad, I let them know this as we're doing like our health assessment as far as, okay, you know what? It sounds like the five in one weight loss plan is the perfect fit for you. That's what we'll get you started with to get you to get you going on losing those 15 pounds and being able to um, fit back into that, you know, fall wardrobe that you want to. But you know what? We have lots of different plans. So what we want to focus on is your health all along the way in all the seasons. And we have a plan that's going to fit that. So I just lay that seed out there really early that as they, as they um, progress along their journey, we'll be adjusting. So <laughs> I just think it's great, Brad, because if you're having people that are just doing what Brad said, I quit, I give up, I can't do this anymore. Um, probably they think it's five and one or nothing. Yep. And so we get to come in and say, hang on, hang on, what, wait a second, what are your goals? Let's talk about it. All right, here's the option. Someone options. It frees them up. Most often they're going to pick to go back into structure that they chose in the beginning that supports their goals. 100%. All right, let's finish up with some role play. So I hopefully did that. Actually, I just want to make sure this call is of value. That's the only reason we do this call. And plus the community, because I'm going to spend Saturday mornings with you guys. Drop me a three if that was helpful, because we had a lot of people that were asking for help on this subject and knowing a little bit more about our plans. You can go check out the guides on any one of them. Okay, so it was helpful. So now you have more tools at your disposal. All right, as we wrap up here, just gonna put our money where our mouth is and make it like just, you know, just talk. It's like pressure's off. We're gonna role play for you guys. Cause I was like, how do I explain this? And I was like, let's just do a quick role play. So, dog, we're gonna play role play four major scenarios that a lot of people asked about. The pressure is on right now. I think we've been coaching close to 10 years. I think we can do it. So, you can, you, you, you made me, okay. You, you were like, you take that one, that one, that one. I was like, dang, okay, so you're giving me the hard one. Okay, I'll let you be all the examples on this. Okay. Katie Grace, you, my friends. But we didn't want to practice because we wanted to make this real for you guys. So, right. role play number one, you're a client having a hard time. Maybe in the first few weeks, you're like, oh, I can't seem to stay on. You're like about to quit, basically, in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh, Brad. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but I do great every day until like 4 p.m. And then I get home from work. I don't know. It's like the stress hits or something. And I just, I eat something off plan. I don't know what is wrong with me. Why I can't seem to, I got into fat burn. I think I got that into fat burn that first week, but I just can't seem to get back there. Got it. Okay. So like it's in my mind, you're like in three weeks. You're okay. All right. Hey, Don. Okay. So good. I'm so glad you reached out. That's why this is key success. I mean, I remember what you said you wanted with your goals. And honestly, aren't you? I mean, even with all this going on, you're still down eight pounds right now, right? Just making sure is that the case? Well, yeah, I'm down eight pounds. I mean, is that good in three weeks? I don't know. I just feel like I could be doing so much more. And I don't know. I feel like I hit a roadblock like every day or the weekends, you know, like I'll do good for three or four days. And then the weekend comes along and, you know, it's football season. My husband likes to drink the beer and sit there. And I just, I don't know. I. I feel like I need more willpower or something. All right, no, I'm glad I'm glad you shared this. So number one is always stay close. Let's keep diving into the four components. Which I remember those four components we talked about during the first little bit. This yeah. is why I love this program. Eight pounds is great, but we're looking for progress over perfection here. So here we might we could possibly change up your plan, or let's just dive in a little bit more to this. What is it that you're ultimately wanting? Remind me of your goal. I I would know her goals. I'd be looking at them, but I'm going to make her say her goals. Be like, because honestly, this is learning a healthy lifestyle. Have you been diving into the Habits of Health book where they talk about doing that? Because one thing we have to remember is that, yes, there's a fat burning stage that we want to maintain. You're, you will probably feel more energy. You will have less temptations if you are in the fat burning stage. But let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. You're learning your, your the, the triggers that are throwing you off. You are staying consistent. You didn't disappear on me. I don't know, X, Y, Z. You guys see how this conversation could go? Yeah. Yeah, well, now I see what my wins are. All right, all right. So eight pounds is good. And I know, I know, Brad, I've been blowing up your phone. And thank you for reminding me to, you know, plug into that support page. That's been super helpful because I see people are doing it. I see that they've, I see that it's possible for me. So, right, cut. 
All right, cut. So, because uh, we, we have to get through all the other ones here really quick, we want to end on time. All right. So, long story short, I did that. I probably would have confirmed what plan. I would have asked her what she wants to do moving forward to confirm the plan of the win and maybe reiterate, reiterate what um, fat burning is because most clients don't know what fat burning is and they probably are having such a hard time because they're not fully in fat burning. They haven't made the stop to get back into fat burning. So, plus, I'm going to dive them back into the community. I'm going to get them back into winning. Uh, I'm probably going to encourage five and one, but I got to listen to them to what they need. But I think that was an overall good example. All right, so let's go to the next one. No weight loss for plateau. Oh my gosh, Brad, the scale. Oh, you guys, you be that person. I'll be yeah. There. Oh my gosh, Brad, the scale is not moving. I do not understand what's going on. Oh, my pants are fitting better, but that scale, I mean, it's been like eight days and not a budge. All right. Okay. I'm so glad you asked about this. Okay. Number one, before we get into this, let me ask you real quick. Like, one, you already gave me the hint, which I'm really excited to talk about. You said your pants are getting better. I'm excited to explain what that is. But okay, before we, because we can get you better results. That's what I love about our program. But how are you feeling? What are your other wins going? Because I know your goals weren't just weight loss related. You were tired at work. You've been trying to sleep better. I'm going over your health assessment right now. You want to get off or whatever the case may be. Like, tell me some of the other wins just so we can build on those wins because perspective is so key on this. All right. Well, I mean, that's true. I have more energy. I don't even need coffee anymore, Brad. I used to drink like three cups. Right? I don't even need that anymore. Um, oh, I am down. So, so I went from large to medium scrub. So, I mean, that's good. Um, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm feeling better. I, I like it. I'm just really frustrated that that darn scale is not budging. Okay. I'm going to shorten this up. Pause talking to everyone here. I'm going to shorten this up just for the case of time, but I'm going to say, I'm going to probably ask like, okay, so building on wins, don't remember, like remember those, like let's remember the wins that we're focusing on here because that's the biggest thing. This is an optimal health journey, but less diving so I can help you get this figured out. So I would probably awkwardly for a guy, which I don't think it's awkward, I just ask it anyways. I'd ask if it's that time of the month because every single time water gets retained and they're always like, you know what it is? Oh my gosh, you're a genius. And it's like, there you go. There's the weight loss. The scale really doesn't tell you what's going on, to be honest with you. And it's like, that's why we encourage way in weekly or whichever way doesn't mess with your brain. So what I would recommend, the gold standard is you got to focus on progress pictures and we really got to take measurements. And if you really want to become a pro, you can also do body composition testing. Not all my clients do it, but I want you to focus on the wins because we don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater on this. And I'll tell you why this is actually good news, Don. Because our program is based on nutrition not starving ourselves and lack of nutrition, there's high proteins. You might be putting on lean muscle mass. It might be water weight, but either way, you're not gaining fat. And if your inches are showing me that you're shrinking, I'm guessing you're still losing. I'm actually happier that you were at a plateau. But here's the deal. If you want to confirm it, let's just journal for the next few days. Because honestly, if you're in the fat burning stage, it's a, just an equation. You can, you can basically count on weight loss or fat loss rather. If you do that, would you like to journal for the next few days and get that figured out? I mean, sure. I'm willing to do anything. Absolutely. Done. All right. Fuck it. Good to go. All right. <laughs> exercise on plan. Brad, I want to exercise on plan. Someone said, actually, no, you should be the first. Go for it. Uh, okay, Brad, Brad, Brad. So I'm having so much energy and I'm loving this. I'm down 12 pounds. I've got, I'm going to start uh, bar classes. I've always wanted to, so I'm stoked. What do I need to think about? Because I've signed up for um, five next week. All right, cool. So quick overview is, yeah, you totally exercise. Great job taking the next step in your health. I remember on your health assessment, that was something you really wanted to focus on. So here is my overall examples. So number one, is it been, is, you're on week three, so it's been two or three weeks of that, okay? And were you doing bar classes before again? Oh, no, this is something new, totally on my bucket. Right. But I know you said first two weeks, kind of take it easy and, and all that. And so um, I've been just walking and stuff, but I'm just Good. ready. Walking's perfect. So, and I'm going fast. I would never cut anyone off like this, but I'm trying to get done on time. So anyways, um, what I really recommend doing is ease into it. For the first little bit, just make sure you go about 70%. Make sure you extra hydrate. You can drink things like, you know, our purposeful hydration for replenishing vitamins and, and electrolytes are great or powering zero or any kind of sugar-free, um, you know, electrolyte drink. Um, take it easy because your body's getting used to it. Plus, your body is perfectly happy right now. We don't want to overexercise because have you been at that hungry state? Do you remember what day three felt like if you were, if you were really hungry on day three? We don't, oh, want, to, I don't, back don't want to feel that way. So if you get into it, you can always add more when you're feeling good, but it's, it, it will be a hard deal on, on the next day if you go too hard. So ease up to I know you got tons of energy right now, but just, just 
ease into it. Everyone always talks about that first workout that they worked out really hard and then they never did it again because they couldn't walk for the next few days. Just ease into it the next little bit. I like what you're doing. Bar is pretty good, so that's why I want you to take it easy, but it doesn't seem more than like, like 45 minutes of extraneous activity. It seems like that'll be good. Um, so the last thing on this, Don, back to the plateau one, I really, really, really want you to track measurements because you're getting into the optimal health stage. The scale will not be able to tell you what's going on because you are going to next level health. Like you're going to probably start putting on a little bit of lean muscle mass and that's not bulky mass. It's like, you know, it's where abs are made from and, you know, like, you know, tone stuff, but it's enough to offset the scale because of the nutrition you're getting in. I really want you to track measurements and do progress pictures each week. Are you down to do that? Okay. Yep. I'm down. So up my, up my um, hydration. I'm going to take it easy. I've been meaning to get those purposeful hydration. So Brad, I'm going to add those to my next order. That's such a great, thanks for reminding me of that. And then I'm going to track my measurements. All right. And so what you're saying is that now that I'm starting to exercise, the scale may slow down. It, it may not be an accurate. Um, yeah, it's, not scale. it's not going to tell you what, anything about your body anymore. Throw it okay, out. Cool. Not, used, not useful anymore. Okay. Cool. All right. Boom. Good. Everyone liking it? I think the chat's blowing up. I think it's good. Last one, we are out of time. So I'm just going to say for hitting their goal, last two things, I'm not going to role play it, is one, as the people get close to hitting their goals, let them know they're getting close to hitting their goal. Ask them if they're happy there. Ask them how they best like helping or helping themselves. There is a full transition process. It's in the Optivia guide. Or if they're like Don, exercising, doing great, moving forward, I'm just going to ask them, like, how do you want to keep fueling? We can move forward into doing a four and two or a three and three. And they're like, oh, it's just like I'm doing now, but more food? Yeah, okay, which one seems more doable? Three and three, three meals a day, it's a little bit much. Four and two, we're, just gonna, we're going to figure out how life works for you. So this next season is gonna be a practice. I'm still engaging, I'm gonna engage them almost like they're a brand new client as they move into their next phase of health. So that's what we're gonna do. And it's gonna be a, a, a figuring out what it is. I would say uh, most people choose to do four and two because they're like, Three meals? That's, that sounds like torture. I'll start off with two and we'll move from there because it's going to be a process of figuring out what they want. So, boom, done, 801. All right, cool, we did it. Can we give Don a round of applause? Actually, can be a round of applause. That was not easy. Ooh, actually, it does. With practice over time, everything becomes easy. All right, um, the chat's blowing up. All right, so our last thing here, I hope you all stayed on. We only lost five people from our largest number. So, here is the reason. Here is the second announcement. All right, you guys. Mark it down, and you're going to need to know the code word. Got to pay to play. $25 matching stock, so $50 scholarships. We did $1,000 the first month, like a few months ago. You guys did it in like 24 hours, and we gave more away. Then the next month, we did $2,000. We are like, that'll tie you guys over. No, you guys still ate it up in like 24 hours. So this month, we're going to go $3,000 of $25 matching. You guys use them up starting... Wait for it now, now, go for it. Okay, $3,000 till it's gone. And I love people that keep asking, so keep hitting me up if the got money's gone. I love people getting help. Here's the reason why, and this is the code word you gotta know. We are on the verge of hitting 50,000 likes. It's a monumental impact mark, you guys, it's huge. We are 500 clients away. This is screenshots from yesterday. If we, like, so we want it, that's the hit this goal, plus you guys are on fire. I love investing in good investments. And I would say that uh, the marketplace is hot right now. It's a good time to add clients into our community. So $3,000, tell it's gone. You guys got it. Our goal is 50,000 lives. So when you message me, you have to message me the ID number. You have to message me that your $25 is already on. And you have to message me 50,000. 50,000. If you don't say 50,000, you don't get your match. Because you have to pay to play. Why do we invest in you guys? Because if you guys keep coming back here honing your skills, you will keep moving forward like I know you guys all are. So I love you guys. Amazing job across the board. Here is the action step. It's all the same action step. 20 seconds of the month, do that pulse check. Send over your map and a pit and your top people you're focusing on. Get that communication flowing with your support team of who you are intentionally focusing on. Use the scholarship to touch base with massive amounts of people. This, this is for you um, for taking massive action. That's what this calls for. Commit to that 10, 3, and 3, and be sure you're 100% clear on how to make that cruise. I'm not going on that cruise without you guys. You're coming with us. I have another personal goal, and that's to fill up that cruise ship, but they have to get a second cruise ship. Like, how cool would that be if we got a second cruise ship because of how many people got on that? So anyways, 
That is it, 804, not too shabby. Anyways, you guys are doing amazing, incredible. Let's go spread help and let's take it to the next level in these next nine days. Um, yeah, that's it, you guys are crushing it. All right, have a great day, everyone. Appreciate you all, keep holding your skills. Next week, the announcement will be um, in the page. Sponsoring Bootcamp kicks off as we finish up this month. So finish the month strong. Have a great day, everybody. Round of applause for my assistants, my co-hosts today, Don. That's not easy. On the spot. Like you, Brad, coaching on the spot. Way to go. I think we should do more role plays. Who? Someone else gets to be me next time. Any volunteers? Huh? Yeah. And the, our, the only goal of this call is to keep helping you guys win. And obviously, it's working. We're like crushing numbers from last month um, already. Can, like, is this helpful for you guys, the stuff that we're doing? Like, is this helping you guys be better coach? Okay, it was on. a really incredible training today, you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. role do. playing was key, you guys. It was really good. The role playing. All right. We'll do more of it. All right. Rich and Glenn and everyone else that were at the party, next time you have a party, let me know. Oh, jeez. All right. Talk to you guys all later. Go message a massive amount of people. Talk to you later. I did. Brad. 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 Yeah. Please do more of that role playing. That was amazing. You got it. More role play coming right up. Woohoo! Do volunteers next time. <laughs>